I'm going to be honest right here and right now. This episode was rushed. I may not be a light novel reader or a manga reader, whatever this is adapted from, but I can tell you right now this episode was rushed. I can easily tell a lot of the different things going on, which is completely not covered properly. All the different interactions and introductions we had with the characters were rushed over completely. And it made this episode rather boring for anime-only watchers. I don't know how light novel readers feel about this episode, but it feels like this episode was rushed way too much, a bit too fast, and at the same time, they somehow managed to make this episode rather slow and boring. Now, I'm not going to say that this series is bad. I love Mahoka. I'm, I'm a fan of this series. It just felt like, overall, this episode did not explain enough, and at the same time, it felt like it was a poor build-up episode. Once again, this episode is kind of a build-up. It builds up for this Nine Schools competition, and the Nine Schools competition has all these different sports and different things you have to participate in, but you're using magic with it. So I like the elements of how this is being shown, but all these different games we saw this episode, I really didn't care much about. It had the over-the-top music. The music was freaking amazing in this episode. Probably the only thing that was really amazing about this episode. The music definitely supported this entire episode, but the dialogue and overall the build-up with these new character introductions were poorly done. And I, at the moment, I do not care about these new characters introduced because we didn't not have enough dialogue with them. They just said, oh, here's this character. This character has a great fan base. Oh, this character is pretty much a boss. You get to see the chairwoman be a badass. So, I mean, overall, there wasn't enough. They skipped from one scene to the next way too quickly, and it felt like they were just trying to rush this entire section to probably get up to the beef of this entire arc, which is upsetting. And if I can notice it as an anime-only watcher, I can definitely tell you right now it must be rushed pretty bad. But I, I don't think it's going to be as rushed as Black Bullet. But still, this, I don't know how I feel. Now, looking past how this episode was rushed, let's talk about other things. This episode had great animation. I like the animation of this episode. And you gotta love the interaction between Tatsuya and the chairwoman. I love that entire moment. It was really cute and adorable. And I love the atmosphere around this episode. The atmosphere of this episode, I feel, was done properly. Over all things in this episode, the music and atmosphere was the best thing. Because it was just displayed properly. I think that was what was mainly holding up this entire episode. And so, I can enjoy the episode for those entire values. Now, overall, there was a couple things talked about this episode. We get to see Tatsuya is making this toy CAD, and it's not really a toy, but it's, you know, he called it a toy, and I'm guessing whatever this, like, uh, CAD that was created and sent to Tatsuya, most likely it was Taurus, you know, Taurus Silver, I'm guessing he made it, and he sent it to Tatsuya, and Tatsuya now is going to be testing it out in this Nine Schools competition, so I'm interested to see exactly how it works. I could be wrong here, but that's why I think that entire CAD is. And so, overall, this episode was good. I had a couple of reveals that pretty much uh, started talking about the No Head Dragon gang once again. And we get to see Tati is talking to his commanders and chiefs and his military officers while he was sitting down having some nice good cup of tea. And it's, it's pretty entertaining getting to see how some people really respect Tatsuya for who he is instead of looking at him as a failure. And so it was a nice change of pace seeing how these characters actually care and understand the value of Tatsuya instead of just putting him down saying he's trash and a failure. And so that scene, I feel like, is one of the best scenes in this episode just because the way it was shown how people actually do care about his ability. And so, this is going to be the end of my review of Mahoka. Hopefully, I didn't upset anyone with my honest opinion. Remember, it's just my opinion. It was a good episode. Just, I wish they didn't rush as much, and I wish they went more in-depth with each different little element of this series, because it's definitely starting to become harder and harder for anime-only watchers to really sit down and say they care about the series, because it's getting boring, because all these different elements are just getting rushed over, and they're not really going into detail with it. And so, hopefully, I'm not the only one that saw this. I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.